Okay, everyone, I'm back again. Uh, I forgot to hit record and I already started playing. But uh, basically, we got a mound in the center. We got some towers on the side and some hundreds down at the bottom. Uh, this week, I'm not alone. I'm with my friend. But before we get into that, everyone, please like and subscribe. Uh, you know, I'm trying to get this channel over a thousand people. Uh, it'd be cool to get there. So if you watch the videos, just subscribe. I promise not to inundate you with tons of videos all the time. I don't make that many videos. Um, so yeah, like and subscribe. It keeps me motivated. Uh, keeps me wanting to keep coming and doing this. So this week we're not going to be talking about my dating life that much. I decided to kind of chill out on that. I'm going to stay single, I think, for a little bit. I'm still going to try. I'm still on the apps, but I'm not going to really worry that much. Uh, my friend has stepped away from the machine and is texting someone. But uh, real quick, though, I want to ask the ladies out there a question. So when a guy messages you on a dating app, what, sh what do you want him to say? Because some ladies just want you to just introduce yourself a little bit and just be normal. But then there's some girls on there who say to me like, oh, good opening line, or, or oh, all you did was introduce yourself, uh, or try being wittier next time. So if there's any ladies watching, can you leave in the comments what a guy should say or do as his opening line on a dating app? Yo, you coming? To play? Yeah, I'm texting you. So we'll just take turns. Hi. How you doing? Yeah, so this is my friend. He's the one who uh, played here last week. Oh, there we go. Oh. Some of it dropped. I was trash last week. Yeah, he took the video for me and sent it to me. Everybody wants to know where our hidden spot is and you're not gonna find it. Yeah, so we both know each other because we're basically in the same business. There we go. Oh, big push. Oh yeah. Uh, we're both in the rental business. Oh, look at those. We like to do silage. Yeah, it's cool. I rent out tents, tables, chairs, wedding stuff. He rents out primarily like backyard parties, like bounce houses and fun, st fun stuff. <laughs> yeah, my stuff's way more fun. <laughs> yeah, my, my stuff's not necessarily fun. Mine, mine just looks nice for a wedding. We got water slides and dunk tanks and... Do you have a dunk tank? Yeah. Oh. I almost bought another one. So I bought a water slide. I bought the water slide instead. The kind, and, the kind you tow behind or the... Well, yeah, he's got one. It's old and it, it's solid. Like, it's solid. I can... I have to fix it all up. I have to sand it and repaint it and all that. Oh, um, is, the one that you, I, is the one that you own... Oh, it's brand new. Tow behind one. No. No. I don't, I don't want to deal with that and people trying to pick it up and all that. Right. Let's not make this into a tent channel. But anyway, that's how we know each other. And he doesn't have a girlfriend either. I have three. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm 38 and he's 25. Like I, I'm honestly like my Whoa. whole ooh, my whole last video, I was just trying to see how many people I can make mad. So if you want, if you want to see me get aggressive, stick through the first five minutes and go to that other video, because I, I literally was trying to get kicked out of here at one point. Yeah, it's not good. Don't. <laughs> Don't get us kicked out tonight. Let's go 
Oh, look at that. So we're just here, we're taking turns, kind of. We're not even, like, going that crazy. He, uh, he's doubling up his coins. So I'm going to talk about something a little controversial here. Uh, I signed up for a sugar daddy, sugar baby website like a month and a half ago. And because uh, let's face it, people, I, I, I have some money. Um, so yeah, I did pay some girls to hang out with me and you know, good looking girls. Uh, they came to my Airbnb, which my, my Airbnb is a... 12,000 square foot barn converted into a house, so it's like, makes me look even richer than I am. Did, did they or did they not have all their teeth? Uh, so this one girl has dentures, but she's really, really attractive. She has dentures because when she was younger, her ex-husband uh, knocked all her teeth out. So she moved away from... You sure she didn't smoke crack? Yeah. She's from Alabama, so she moved away up to New York. And, uh... Oh, let's go. Oh, pathetic. It is what it is, but it was very fun. I don't do it anymore. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check on Facebook, I told you. And she, and I, like, I was talking to her for like a month. There we go. And I found out she smoked crack. She, <laughs> she, she invited me over the same day she told me she smoked crack. And I'm like, you know what? I don't want to pursue this friendship. Right. We're gonna keep going. You move the camera. We gotta, we gotta start over. We gotta call the attendant and just start over now. We, gotta, we just lose all the money we did and we just start over for the viewers. I had to get quarters out. I was running low. Because you're a bum and you don't know what you're doing. So I should be running coin, coin pushing craziness. Plus, we got a we got a hundred that dropped. Ooh, that's it? That's it so far. Pathetic. That whole tower is about to drop. Let's let's push that side. There's like way less people here though because of the pandemic. Right. What pandemic? There we go. Oh, shit. Big push. No chips. Exactly. Trump or Biden? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's not go there. No, but my, my friend four years ago did the media tents right in front of the Capitol, not really in front of the Capitol, but halfway between the Capitol building and the Washington Monument. And I went down there and helped him with them. They're the, they're the, they're the tents that were like for Fox News and CNN and stuff. It's basically a 60,000 square foot double-decker tent. And if he did that again this time, we would have been... It took us a, a Some, week. Somebody started selling hot dogs during that riot. Really? Yeah, like right in front of you to set up a hot dog set. Throwing well, quarters everywhere. It was a week and a half setup, so. Dude, I went I went to the mall one time, dude. Yeah. And uh it was cool, dude. They had like that like the shit cop helicopters going back and forth across past the Washington Monument all day, going to the White House. Right. Like they was just bringing people in and out. I thought that was cool. You go to walk around and see all the stuff. I found excellent parking, which I hear is a trunk parking's atrocious over there. A lot of places I'm not supposed to. Yeah.
I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Oh, look at these. Do you see all these right here? Right there. Supposed to go. Those are gonna fall. Oh, they just, did you see it? Kind of. I gotta aim this down a little. Oh shit, dude, it fell. There was another one there and it fell. They, they're gonna think we're faking it. They're gonna, dude. What was that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hundred, not a thousand just fell. A thousand. Wow. Alright, let's get the rest to fall. I think a few more pushes and we got those last three off and then we're just then we're just pushing them all out. There's some Facebook, there's some fucking Facebook group that uh, is all about coin pushing and they seem to be stealing everyone's coin pushing videos. I'm not sure if they actually link back to the YouTube, but they don't use any of our titles. They don't use uh, our description or anything. They like make their own title. So I think they're stealing every, everyone, not just mine. Some of my videos ended up on there. But there's a few coin pushing channels. And uh, those are on there a lot. And I think they're stealing them. I, I, I can't figure it out just yet. I don't really, I, I say stealing, I don't really care. Wait, what are they doing exactly? It's a Facebook group. And it has videos of coin pushing on there of all the different channels, but they they change the title of it. And I think they're stealing it. So I don't want to fit all of that well. You got fake quarters around here? No, sometimes the quarter may have been flattened or something and the ridges are just sticking out a little further and they don't want to go in. Yeah, that one right there, that whole stack's just gonna fall all the way down something. You think it's gonna go in? Yeah, Just, Justin's texting some girl. You texting your mom? No. just gonna fall backwards now. Starting to lean backwards. Uh, oh, it's, it's sliding. It's sliding! Oh no. 
Justin met my cats. Uh, hopefully later one of them, the one who plays fetch, will get, get used to them enough and play fetch with them. We gotta fix the toilet. I had to try to Ooh. Fix the toilet at my Airbnb earlier today. Um, gotcha. I fixed one part. Come to find out the flap is broken as well. The, the flap that keeps the water from the top tank to the bottom tank. So I gotta go back and yeah, nice. try to fix that. Six hundred dollars. Oh, more just fell. Nice. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, and a like and subscribe. Yep. Smash that like and subscribe, people. Yeah. Keep me going. I like to open the app every day and see, and see that subscribe thing going. One of, one of the things that makes me happy, seeing those subscribe numbers go up. That and sugar babies. Yeah, not anymore. <laughs>
3200. Pushed up and being held up by the quarters behind it. The lip is pushing it up, and all, everything behind it is holding it up. machine people feed the machine oh, some drop in the game i mostly play is roulette i like roulette the best what about you i like blackjack I like blackjack yeah. only thing i don't like about blackjack is other people at the table uh especially if you're the last person that it all kind of depends on you if you're if you hit and then bust that means you could have uh 700 bucks. You could have taken away the bus from the dealer and then the whole table loses instead of just. Instead of just you. Yeah. That's why I always just sit at the front. Yeah, let someone more experienced sit at the last seat. Table plays together, kind of. The dealer will tell you how to play. Right. I was 16 when I first went to the casino to play blackjack. Um, try to make we tried to make ourselves look older. We sat at the five dollar tables, and me and my friend won. And we were like, "Whoa, why can, why don't more people come to the casino? This was easy." And then the next time we won, obviously we were only 16, winning like 60 bucks was a lot of money to us. So then the next time we won, then the third time we lost, and then then we started getting caught for being too young because it's an in, it's an indian casino so you could be 18. You know? well can you be 18 for vegas too if you can be 18 anywhere that there isn't uh car tables okay it's very slots only but then i think the rules change you're old All I know is back, back then, back in my day, uh, it was 18 at the Indian Casino. We were close, I and mean, we had facial hair and stuff, so we were able to get away with it a few times. And then I played blackjack a few more times. I didn't really like it. Uh, I like roulette. I kind of stick to the third section. You know, 29, 30, 32, you know, down in there. Uh, and I know it's all chance, but every once in a while it just seems like that that person's shooting the ball is hitting that third section over and over and over and over again. Killy David. No. So we are one, two, three, four. We're at forty-nine hundred dollars. I'm ready to call it in a second. Let's try to get one hundred more. There we go. We're close. Go ahead. Finish off recorders. I don't think we're gonna do it. 
done? You good? No, one more. Let's go. $5,700 tonight. 